Have you ever wondered how law enforcement agencies track down cyber criminals who use cryptocurrency? Well, wonder no more. A recent case in Australia has shed light on the cutting edge by technology used by investigators to track down a missing fortune in Bitcoin. Let's set the scene. A dark cloud hangs over the Australian Federal Police as one of its own, Officer William Wheatley, stands accused of a daring crypto heist. In missing loot, a staggering 8162 bitcoins, valued at the then humble 309 crypto tracking technology and raises and critical questions about digital asset security in the face of evolving cybercrime tactics. Uh, so how did the investigation unfold? Uh, it all began in January 2019 when federal police officers raided a residence suspected of drug activities. Uh, among the recovered items was a treasure hardware wallet, a secure device housing the seized bitcoins. After obtaining court authorization, investigators accessed the wallet three weeks later, only to be met with a bewildering scene. The bitcoins were gone. Initial theories pointed to an accomplice within the criminal network, but a crucial shift in focus was about to reshape the investigation. The discovery of a seemingly innocuous device in containing the wallet's seed phrase, a unique sequence of words for recovery, proved pivotal. This unlocked a trail of digital breadcrumbs. Enter the crypto tracking software, the powerful tool increasingly employed by law enforcement agencies to navigate the complex tapestry of cryptocurrency transactions by meticulously analyzing IP addresses linked to the transferred bitcoins. The software painted a damning picture. The trail led investigators directly to Officer Wheatley's online activity. And really someone, but wait, there's more. This bombshell revelation led to the immediate suspension of Officer Wheatley. Armed with the software's incriminating evidence, authorities allege that Wheatley exploited his access to the wallet and transferred the bitcoins for personal gain. All right. However, Wheatley adamantly denies any wrongdoing, maintaining that a technical glitch caused the bitcoin loss. His claim faces significant skepticism given the software's precise mapping of the transaction flow. Uh, so what's the takeaway from this case? It transcends the missing millions and delves deeper into the burgeoning field of crypto forensics. The successful use of tracking software signifies a crucial step forward for law enforcement in combating crypto-related crimes. Estimated to have amassed a staggering $674 million in stolen Bitcoin alone this year. Um, but there's a flip side to this coin. Concerns swirl around the potential for misuse of such powerful tools and potential infringements on individual privacy. Additionally, the incident sheds a light on the vulnerability of hardware wallets, especially after Trezor disclosed a recent major hack, impacting thousands of users. And so the next time you're thinking of investing in cryptocurrency, remember it's not just about the money, it's about the technology, the risks, and the legal implications. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time. Here's a joke for you. Why did the Bitcoin go to the party? Because it wanted to get mined. Mined. Because it...